Hello, I counters presenting before you the solution of next I Brahma question, which was posted a few days back on Facebook. The question looks like this. Here you can see a black square is there. Inside it, one white square has been <coughs> inscribed in such a way. Okay, so whenever like square is a regular figure, all the sides are equal. Whenever we do this, there is something which is uh, which we discussed in the Pythagorean triplets as well. So if we put a square like this, the way we have put in here, the white square inside the black square. So one thing is for sure that <coughs> this side will be equal to this side, this and this. And similarly, these sides will be equal because the square is always a regular figure. Okay, once we have established this, we can move on to the question. If the area of white square and pink triangle is 625 and 84 square units respectively, then what is the area of blue circle? So that is what we have to find out. The colors are uh, brilliant and we can identify all the figures with their colors. Okay, so first of all, the easiest part, the easiest thing that we'll do, we'll start doing the question with this thing. The area of square is given as 625 square units. And as all of us know, that the area of square is nothing but the square of the length of its side. So because of this information, you can actually calculate the side of the white square and that will be equal to square root of 625 or simply speaking 25 units. So this part was very simple. Now let me mark <coughs> the sides as 25 of this white square. Now, once we have done this, we can notice that the side of the white square is coinciding with the hypotenuse of the pink triangle. That means the hypotenuse of pink triangle can be 25. Great. Well, let us do one thing more. Let this side be called as P or perpendicular and this side we call as B, that is base. So this is a right angle triangle and by using this, by using Pythagoras theorem, we can calculate the values of P and B. And as we have established earlier, for this, this will also be a right angle triangle. And this circle would be called as in circle. So in circle is the is basically the circle of maximum area which can be inscribed inside a triangle. So this in circle is of this right angle triangle. If we calculate the value of P here, similarly this will be P and this this side will be equal to B. So once we have calculated P and B for this pink triangle, we'll be able to understand that the, the sides of right angle, black right angle triangle inside which the circle has been inscribed. So let us calculate that. Now we can say that according to Pythagoras theorem, we can say that P square plus B square is equal to 25 square. So this is what we have obtained from the Pythagoras theorem. There's one more information given inside the in, in the in the question that is the area of the pink triangle is 84 square units. Now we also know that area of a triangle, specifically a right angle triangle, because this triangle, the pink triangle, is a right angle triangle. This will be equal to, equal to half multiplied by base multiplied by height. In this case, the height is perpendicular and base is B. So <clears throat> all these things we know, now putting in the values, I'll get 84 is equal to half times PB. Solving it further, we can get PB is equal to 84 multiplied by 2 or we can say 168. Moreover, we can represent the value of P in terms of B. P is equal to 168 by B and we can put in this value in the Pythagoras theorem and then we can calculate, we can calculate the value of P and <coughs> successively the value of P as well. Okay, so this is what we have to do and why are we doing it? We are doing this because we want to find the area of the blue circle so we can find it only if we find the radius of the blue circle. And as the blue circle is in circle, surely the radius of this blue circle will be called as 
in radius. We'll come to that as well. See, this question is not very difficult, but this question involves three different concepts, three really tricky and uh, interesting concepts, which we'll be discussing because in radius can be formed can be formed by using various kind of formulae, but for this specific right angle triangle, I'll derive a formula for the in radius and that will actually blow your mind. So ready for that? Let's go ahead. So what all things do we have right now? Now we have an equation, the Pythagoras theorem. We have the value of P in terms of B. You can just put it, put it over there and find the value of P and B. Well, let's do that. So P is equal to 168 by B from the previous slide. We can do that. In place of P, we can write this 168 by B. This was the equation for your reference. Plus B squared, that will be equal to 25 square. Now we can solve for B. Of course, I can expand this and keep on solving. A lot of steps will be there, but I'm sure you can also do that. So once you do that, you'll be able to find the value of B and P. So P and B, the values will be, the values will be, see the thing is, <clears throat> you'll get two values of B, right? And one will be the perpendicular, other will be base, because P and B can be interchanged. It depends on how you look at the triangle. For example, this pink triangle is same as this black triangle. The only difference is, the only difference is that this triangle, the longer side is horizontal, here the longer side is vertical. So basically you find P or B, you find two values of B, one will be P, another will be B. That is uh, understood. So once you try to solve this, you will get two values as 7 and 24. So looking at the figure, we can say this is 7, this is 24. Similarly, this will be 7 and this will be 24. Now we have obtained, we have obtained the sides of the triangle, the black triangle. Now we have to find the radius of the blue circle. Okay, this is one way of solving it, which will take a lot of time. But if you remember, I think you should refer to the refer to the Brahma triplets class, which I took a few days ago. In that in the in that class, uh, I have given a theorem, and through that theorem, you will be able to find the value of p and b just by looking at the value of hypotenuse. All right, so you can refer to, refer there. I'll just provide a link 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 in this class. Well, so once we have done this, what comes next? Now comes the interesting part. See, so I have just extracted the black triangle from the previous figure. And now, like some students had this doubt that how do we find the in radius of this specific triangle? Of course, you know it, but there was some technique which I discussed in the, uh, in the solution of the question. So, now look at this. If this is the center, just a minute. If this is the center, this will be the radius. And similarly, this will also be the radius. So I'm just writing, assuming R and R over here. This R is the in radius which we have to calculate. Okay, now look at this. This, this basically, is a square. So similarly, this will also be R, this will also be R. Okay, all said and none, so far so good. Now, as we know, one property of circle that from any point outside the circle, if you draw two tangents, the length of tangents would be, would always be equal. So we can assume that from this point, from this point, two tangents have been drawn and let us let us uh, assume the, the, the length of these tangents to be a, small a each. And similarly, from this point, two tangents have been drawn. Let's, uh, let's assume the length to be b each. This is the derivation of the formula that we are going to use. So once I have derived this, you'll be able to understand it and you'll be able to use that formula anywhere in case the in radius of a right angle triangle is asked. Well, so as we know that this part can be called as the perpendicular and this part can be called as the base and this part can be called as the hypotenuse. So we can say <coughs> that the value of P is equal to A plus R. Look at the figure. Value of P is 
a plus r and the value of b will be equal to b plus r and the value of h is equal to a plus b. So I'm deriving this formula on the demand of some of the people who com commented on that post. <clears throat> now my motive, my motive is to find the value of r over here. Now look at this, if I add these two and subtract h, if I add p and b and subtract h, what do I get? p plus b minus h. There are a plus b and 2 times r, so I'll get a plus b 2 times r and I'm subtracting h, h is specifically a plus b again. So if I do that, what am I left with? The a plus b thing gets cancelled and I'm left with only 2r, which means the value of r or the in radius of a right angle triangle I'm repeating, do not confuse it with any kind of in radius. This formula is applicable only and only for right angle triangles. So, so in radius of a right angle triangle will always be given as r is equal to p plus b minus h whole upon 2. So this is the learning, you can save this, you can note this down, this is very important. Now our life is easy. We had to find the area of this circle and area of circle everyone knows area of circle is given with given by pi r square. Let us put the value, value of r was what? Go back to the previous slide. This is the value of r, p plus b minus h by 2. I'll just calculate it. We had obtained the value in the previous slide, if you remember, that was 7 and 7 and 24, right? We got 7 and 24. Great. That means the value of p is 7, b is 24 and h is given as 25 divided by 2. Now, if you calculate this, you'll get the value of r as 3. Now, calculating the area. So, this becomes pi multiplied by a square of 3, which is nothing but 9 pi. As the units are not given, I'll just write square units. Always remember that area is given in the form of square units, volume in the form of cubic units, and perimeter in the form of units only. So, I hope you have understood a very important, very nice and very interesting formula of finding the radius of a right angle triangle. Moreover, we have also applied the Pythagorean triplets over here. The link I'll be providing with this class. Thank you. We'll meet again.